Okay, before I start, Saquon Barkley, if you can leave New York for the Baltimore Ravens, you got to do it, man. Okay that trade. Go to Baltimore. They're going to be a contender for years with Lamar Jackson at the quarterback position. Plus, they need a running back. You have a better chance of getting a three-year extension in Baltimore than you do in New York. New York already shows you how they feel about you. They're paying Danny Dimes $40 million a year. He's just an average quarterback. He's getting $40 million a year. And you're getting like $11 million a year. So if you can go to Baltimore, do it. Now, I'm looking at Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp. I saw something where they're going to do their show from Savannah State. That's the school that Shannon Sharp graduated from. That's a good look. Anytime a HBCU is shown some kind of light and they get publicity, it's a good look. You gotta realize these states, a bunch of states are not even paying HBCUs the money that's owed to them. You're talking about billions of dollars. They're withholding the money from HBCUs. Not millions, billions of dollars. Why? I don't know why. Maybe they don't want the HBCUs to be successful. But I think Tennessee State is owed $2.1 billion. $2.1 billion. Here's a breakdown. It's not just Tennessee State. It's a bunch of HBCUs. That's old money. Now we're talking about three decades. Three decades. The states is like, nah, they don't need that land grant. Nah, we uh, we don't have it. We're not doing it. They purposely withholding funds and money. You better believe if the shoe was on the other foot and someone owed PWIs billions of dollars. Oh, there'll be a big investigation. There'll be new, this would be worldwide news. But it's crazy how they do HBCUs. It's just crazy. Look, man, I'm paying attention to more than just sports out here in these streets. Now, Savannah State, they're two and five. They're not doing much on the football field, but that's not the point. Shout out to First Take for going to Savannah State and showing it in a positive light. It's also a reminder that you can go to an HBCU and make it to the NFL Hall of Fame. There's a bunch of NFL Hall of Famers out of HBCUs. Shannon Sharp is not the only one.